Louis Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam Louis Farrakhan played a significant role in addressing black issues during his charismatic leadership at the Nation of Islam. He was given a public platform which he used to raise awareness for black empowerment and social justice. During his leadership at the Nation of Islam, he organized the Million Man March. The march brought attention to pressing issues such as racial inequality, socioeconomic disparities, and put emphasis on power of unity. The topic of my project is the Nation of Islam, Louis Farrakhan, and his views about the status and challenges black men confront in present-day America. Louis Farrakhan has been a polarizing figure in recent history. His views and statements have been very good at creating controversy and also starting a debate. Some people view him as a charismatic leader who fights for the rights of and empowerment of black Americans, especially within the Nation of Islam. They admire his advocacy for social justice issues, his call for self-reliance and economic empowerment within the black communities, and his efforts to address systematic inequalities. On the other hand, Farrakhan has also been widely criticized and condemned for his controversial statements and views, particularly regarding race, relations, religion, and politics. Uh, Louis Farrakhan has been an important voice addressing the challenges faced by black men in present-day America. Through his speeches and public appearances, Farrakhan tells the story of struggle and victories of black male experienced in society, whose history is filled with racial inequality and systematic injustice. He organized the Million Man March in 1995 to bring attention to the issues black people face. The march was attended by the masses, where many black men gathered in Washington, D.C. to show unity and strength. Farrakhan wanted to make sure the black voices were heard and they stood together against discrimination. His efforts show how much he cares about fighting for the rights of equality of black people. Louis Farrakhan was born Louis Eugene Welcott on May 11, 1933 in the Bronx, New York City. He's a famous religious leader and an activist. He was raised in Boston, attended integrated school and was also a member of Episcopal Church. He has always been a deep religious person. He studied at Winston-Salem Teachers College in North Carolina and worked as a calypso singer. He was a talented calypso singer and was admired for his talent. Farrakhan's early music career began in mid-1950s when he joined the calypso group called The Charmer's Combo. He used to go by the stage name The Charmer. After leaving the life of singing, he became introduced to the Nation of Islam in 1955. He replaced his surname with X, which was a custom of Nation of Islam. He, they had a belief that black people family name originated from the white slaveholders, so they decided to abandon their last name and instead use X in its place. Farrakhan was introduced to the Nation of Islam through Malcolm X. Malcolm X was origin originally Malcolm Little, was a prominent civil rights leader known for his affiliation with the Nation of Islam. Malcolm X joined the Nation of Islam while in prison in 1952 and became an influ influential spokesperson, using his charismatic style to discuss race, religion, and politics. At the time, Malcolm X was a leader for one of the mosques, mosques in Boston. Farrakhan became assistant to Malcolm X at the same mosque and later took his place when Malcolm X left and converted to Sunni Muslim, orthodox version of Islam, and formed organization of Afro-American unity to advocate for black liberation globally. The departure of Malcolm from the Nation of Islam was not on good terms and later he was assassinated by the Nation of Islam. Farrakhan was in accused of inciting violence against Ma Malcolm X but he denied those accusations. Years later on May 14, Farrakhan appeared on a 60 Minutes report broadcast and admire, admitted that his words might have contributed to Malcolm X's murder in 1965. He met with Malcolm X's daughter, Atala Shabazz, and said that his criticism of Malcolm X could have played a part in his death. He said, I acknowledge that and I regret that any word that I have said caused the life, loss of a life of a human being. After the death of Elijah Muhammad in 1975, his son, Warith Deen Muhammad, took charge of the Nation of Islam. Warith wanted to make some changes in the organization. He wanted the Nation of Islam to follow Sunni Islam, which is being practiced by the majority of Muslims uh, around the world. This meant following standard Islamic teaching and moving away from some of the Nation of Islam's more controversial beliefs. But Louis Farrakhan didn't agree with those changes. Uh, 
Uh, Farah Khan believed that Wari Tin Muhammad's reforms were taking the nation of Islam away from its original goals and beliefs. As their disagreements grew, the split between Farah Khan and Wari Tin Muhammad became more significant. Eventually, the nation of Islam split into two groups. Farah Khan led one group, staying true to the original teachings of Elijah Muhammad. Meanwhile, Warith Din Muhammad led the other group, which later became more aligned with the mainstream Sunni Muslim Islam. Years later, both leaders put their differences aside and gathered together at Nation of Islam's Survivors Day event in Chicago to embrace each other. Farah Khan told the crowd, we are here because this is the last frontier, emphasizing the importance of working together to establish Islam in America. This event marked a significant moment of unity between Orthodox Muslims and the followers of Farah Khan's group. Farah Khan gained the reputation of prominent minister in the Nation of Islam and was a very outspoken and eloquent speaker on issues like the civil rights movement and black empowerment. Under his leadership, the organization continued its effort towards black economic independence while also engaging in political activism. Under his leadership, Nation of Islam worked on many different businesses and services to better help the black community. They got into publishing. This meant that they started making and selling books, magazines, and newspapers. By controlling what was written and read within the community, they could spread the message and ideas more effectively. Muhammad Speaks was a magazine founded by Malcolm X named as Mr. Muhammad Speaks. It was a famous newspaper during the 60s in America. It was a combination of investigative journalism with black nationalistic perspective on racial empowerment. The magazine was famous for colorful images and coverage of black community issues. In efforts of helping the community, they also opened restaurants that operated according to the dietary guidelines of Nation of Islam. They were involved in real estate, buying and selling houses. In terms of services, they offered counseling, education programs, and assistance with basic needs of food and housing. Main goal of Farah Khan's efforts was to create economic independence for black people as well as to have better control of their resources. His belief was that African American communities should be self-reliant and take care of their own people. People organized and working for economic rebirth, nicknamed Power, the program was initiated by Minister Louis Farrakhan during his 14-city speaking tour in 1985. The program was aimed, main aim was to promote black self-determination and creating and selling direct sale product and, and, and creating an independent black network of supply and demand. The media coverage of the program, Power, and Farrakhan's speaking tour might have been affected by Farrakhan's controversial status, such as statements he, he allegedly made while supporting Reverend Jesse Jackson candidacy for the Democratic presidential nominee in 1984. The message behind the speaking tour was well-meaning regardless. The message of self-reliance had a deep meaning. When the community works together to solve problems, they overcome challenges together, and in doing so, they, they have strong local businesses and then create better job opportunities. The businesses weren't just about making money, but they were also a means to empower African Americans to take control of their own future. Farah Khan reached out to people who were struggling and often overlooked in society. This included African Americans living in poor neighborhoods in cities, even those who were in pri prison. He gave them a message of hope and gave them a sense of belonging. For those ignored members of the society, he wanted to show them that they mattered and they can be the reason for new beginnings and a positive change. The Nation of Islam has always associated itself with more conservative-leaning views. They resonated with the conservative social beliefs of Booker T. Washington from the late 1800s. Booker T. Washington believed that African Americans should focus on improving themselves economically and through education rather than demanding immediate social and political rights. Similar to Elijah Muhammad, Farah Khan didn't emphasize the right for political rights as much. Instead, he focused more on promoting self-reliance and community empowerment among African Americans. The Nation of Islam was generally considered apolitical before Louis Farrakhan's entry into political activism. While the Nation of Islam had certain social and economic agendas, it did not engage in mainstream political activities or, or endorse political candidates. Farrakhan's support for Jesse Jackson changed that. Jackson was a ge Democratic presidential nominee. Far Farrakhan endorsed Jesse Jackson because they shared similar goals in advocating for African American rights and addressing social inequalities. He used his influence to motivate and mobilize his followers behind a political cause that could benefit African Americans. Louis Farrakhan has been constantly surrounded by controversies throughout his life and career. 
One notable example is his controversial remarks about Jews, which sparked significant anger and disagreement in the public. He called them the main enemy of African Americans. While he was praised by the extremist groups for his stance, he was also heavily criticized for his remarks by the Jewish Americans and the Anti-Defamation League, a powerful lobby group, and it created an at atmosphere of racial tension. The Nation of Islam played a positive role in the struggle against police brutality and unfair treatment by the justice system through peaceful protests and demonstrations. Challenges to policy and prisons were crucial to black freedom movement. The Nation of Islam played a leading role in this fight. When the members of Nation of Islam faced violence and harassment from the police, they responded with peaceful protests and prayers instead of fighting back. Members would also face increased surveillance and, har and harsh punishments within the prison system for practicing their faith and advocating for their rights, which resulted in being closely watched by the prison, prison officials and being subjected to solitary confinement. They fought back by going on hunger strikes and challenging challenging these punishments legally in court. The Million Men March, organized by Louis Farrakhan, is seen as a crucial event in the history of black mass mobilization. It brought together a large number of African-American men to Washington, D.C. in 1995 to address issues affecting their community. Although there have been debates over the exact numbers of attendees, with some people arguing the numbers could be from 400,000 to a million. Regardless of the number of people who attended the march, the impact of the event was significant. It symbolized unity, empowerment, and a call for action within the African-American community. The march aim was to address a wide range of issues including social injustice, economic inequality. It gave a platform for African-American men to voice their concern and push for a change in a peaceful and organized manner. Former President Barack Obama also attended the Million Man March in 1995. Then, a young politician from Illinois, Obama's response afterwards was sensible, saying, African-American men need to come together, but cursing out white folks is not going to get the job done. In 2005, Obama ran into Farrakhan, and they both smiled and took a photo together at a Congressional Black Caucus. The photographer was asked not to publish the picture. The picture was eventually published in 2019, a year after Obama's presidency ended. Farrakhan is known for his controversial beliefs. This photo could have caused trouble for Obama's political career during his 2008 presidential campaign. The march gained a lot of positive coverage, including the mainstream media. It motivated many black men to become more active in their community and to stand up against oppression. The Nation of Islam's message emphasizing religion, self-esteem, family, unity, and the community duty resonated with a lot of people often blamed, blamed individuals for their own struggles rather than fixing the Men system. March inspired black women to organize their own march in 1997. It was led by Philip Chonso and Asia Kone from Philadelphia. Around 300,000 black women gathered in Philadelphia to hear speeches from notable figures like California Congresswoman and President of Congressional Black Caucus Maxine Waters rapper, sister, soldier, and wife of Nancy Mandela and a South African activist, Winnie Mandela. Despite receiving less media attention compared to the Million Man March, the march provided a stage to address issues that particularly affected black women, like domestic abuse, getting health care, and access to education. Just like the Million Man March, the Million Woman March highlighted the importance of unity and empowerment within the black community. Although Farrakhan has been a controversial figure, it's important, to, it's important to recognize the positive things he has done for the black people and his efforts to bring them together. Despite some of the dis disagreements and criticism, Farrakhan has worked hard to support black communities and fight for their rights. His efforts like organizing the Million Man March and programs for economic empowerment shows his commitment to making a difference and uniting black voices for change.